Uh, Prime Minister, yes. um, do forgive me, gentlemen. Yes. You remember Simon Monk, oh, don't you? Monk. Yes. This is very bad news about the grant, Prime Minister. Yeah. Surely not. It's gone up. Nothing like enough. Well, enough for it to be unnecessary for you to... Uh... I'm afraid not. Oh. Oh, because I was hoping to do something really significant next year. You remember you were saying that you had to spend nearly half your grant on the upkeep of the buildings? Yes. Well, I have a plan that should relieve you of that. Really? Well, that would be marvellous. Yeah, wouldn't it? And it'd make the National Theatre really national, too. What do you mean? I'm thinking of selling the National Theatre. <laughs> selling it? I knew you'd be pleased. <laughs> that way we can save three millions on upkeep. Prime Minister, this is impossible. No, it's quite easy, actually. We've had a terrific offer for the site. But the National Theatre must have a base. And so it will. You could have inexpensive offices in Brixton or Toxton. <laughs> Middlesbrough. <laughs> what about the what about the theatres? What about the workshops? Then well, you could hire them like any other company. Put on your productions in the West End or the Old Vic or the provincial theatres. Become strolling players again instead of civil servants. <laughs> be disastrous. Oh, surely not. Didn't you say that the theatre was about plays and actors, not bricks and mortar? Oh yes, yes, but that was uh, that was, look. The National Theatre must have a home. And so it will. Lots of homes. <laughs> All subsidised theatres would be called National Theatres. They'd be the National Theatre at Glasgow, the National Theatre at Sheffield, the National Theatre at Bristol and so on. And that three million could help them all. You'd just be the London branch of the National Theatre. <laughs> I should think that would be very popular with the whole profession. Barbarism. What, spending money on actors instead of buildings? Yes. Well, no, 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 no. <laughs> Anyway, it's just one of my options. I may decide against it, or I may not. I could outline it in my speech, if necessary. <laughs> it all depends. On... Oh, changing the subject, have you decided what you're going to say in your speech yet? Yes. <laughs> oh, uh, well, uh, not uh, finally. Because I wondered if those jokes about government waste were really very funny. Of course, it's your decision. I'm sure you understand me. <laughs> Mr. Prime Minister, my lords, ladies and gentlemen, three silence for Simon Monk, Esquire, the managing director of the National Theatre. Mr. Prime Minister, my lords, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you will have read this morning of the grant for the Arts Council and the National Theatre. I know many of us are uh, disappointed by the amount. <laughs> of course, we would have all liked it to have been larger, but apparently this is a time of national stringency and we must think in terms of national needs. There are many calls on the public purse, education, inner cities, health, kidney machines. <laughs> I think we should be glad that any increase at all has been possible and grateful to our guest of honour whose, whose personal intervention made even this small breadstick possible. Uh, increase. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, to our guest of honour, the patron of the arts, the Prime Minister. My lords, ladies and gentlemen, the toast is... Excellent speech, don't you think, Humphrey? The patron of the arts, the Prime Minister! Yes, Prime Minister. 